right, we are live. This is the Nerds Next Door. Nerds Next Door Live podcast number one. And today I'm going to be ranking every movie that I saw in theaters in 2022. I saw 21 movies in theaters. I saw, that's not all the new movies I saw, but those the movies that I saw actually in the theater on the big screen. Some, I saw... I saw more movies than that, but some were not, like, at home on Netflix or whatever. But, um, I'm gonna rank all the movies I saw in theaters in 2022 while playing Elden Ring. And I'm also new to this game. I played B- Bloodborne, but that's been, like, three years since I played that. And this game is known for being hard, so I may die a couple times. But this is my character, the Samurai character this is still like basic stuff you start off with all the items but we will go we're at the um, this church what's the name of this church we'll go back out and come back in this is the like I said go farther out how do I sprint but this is like a safe area inside this broken down church and this, this like um, this little thing where it tells you what you're supposed to go you're the side of grace so let's just follow this little um, thing right there this way. But um, we'll start it off. The reason I saw so many movies in theaters also because I had um, AMC A-lister, Stubbs A-list, which that's like 20 bucks a month. Where they actually raise the prices like $23 a month. And you can see a movie. You can see three movies a week for like 20 bucks a month. Also, I know it's, it's cheaper in, um, depending on what state you live, live in, but they, um, they changed it now, so it's like $25 in California, if you want to get the movie theaters in California, but depending on what state you live in, it'll, um, it'll be cheaper. I'm just collecting um, fruit right now, row of fruit. I don't know what it's used for. I just got a crafting kit from that guy in the church. And I don't know how to use it. But we'll start off with... um, We're going to go from worst to best. So the worst movie that I saw in theaters in 2022 is Morbius. I don't know why I have to look at the paper. I got a paper right next to me. But I should have known that that was it. Because that was... I, I wouldn't say by far, but that was the worst movie I saw. There was one other really bad movie that I saw... Let's see if I can sneak up on this guy and get a backstab. Okay. So I killed that guy. I'm like a samurai guy and I'm trying to do a little stealth because I'm not used to the combat on this. But there's another guy. He got his, I wonder if I can steal his torch too. Because there's a, there's a cave I went to earlier and it was too dark for me to see. You know, I don't want to fall off a cliff or something, but let's see if we can get a backstab. Maybe we're not doing the backstabs right. I'm pushing R2 for the backstab. Let me know if, if that's the right way to do it or wrong. But anyway, Morbius is a Spider-Man villain. It's kind of weird that he got a movie anyway. Because um, that was like out of nowhere, but... Sony owns the right. Oh, somebody's fighting over there. I can hear somebody fighting. There's some some screams coming up from over here. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure if I want to be going this way. But here we go. Oh, where is it? Maybe that's that, that bird screaming. Yeah, but more of it was a bad movie. The... It was like sickly Jared Leto uh, being a vampire or whatever. I wonder if I can stealth kill this thing. It's like a bat or something. Oh, there's, there's two of them. Let's see if I can just get it. Okay, I got one. Oh! Okay, we're in a fight now. Oh, 
Oh, he got me. Okay, I killed one. There's one more. At least he's still on ground. So maybe I can fare better. I got a little parry attack. Oh, okay. Vanquishing enemy groups. Vanquishing enemy group will punish your flash. Remember the number of flash to finish various in enemy group. If there's more flash, the maximum amount allows. Okay, so I guess... Were they screaming? I still hear the screams. But Morbius, it was not a good movie. We kind of saw it knowing it wasn't going to be good and just hoping for the best. Is there something, something else over here? Golden Room. I don't know where the screams are. Oh, there's something over there. This I was confused about these screams right now, so I can't talk. But Morbius, it was kind of a hipster, emo, vampire. Oh, maybe it's them down there screaming. I don't want to fall off this cliff. And they're trying to um, capitalize on the the fact that they own the rights to the Spider-Man characters. Okay. Yeah, those, those screams are confusing me. Because they're coming from, like, right around here. Yeah, but that was the, the single worst movie I saw in uh, 2022 was Morbius. Yeah, I wonder what this... Maybe they're under this ground or something. Maybe they're in this building. But that was the... Um, well, the worst movie I saw. So we'll move on to number... Uh, Number 20, the 20th worst movie I saw in 2022 was Moonfall. Moonfall, I kind of thought it was going to be good even though people were saying it was bad, but I was hoping they were wrong. And it's a movie where it's like a, it's like a space movie, like aliens attacking and stuff. But this, this, the special effects were cool. The special effects were actually really good. But the story was just nonsense, and it was like mega structures and a bunch of convoluted stuff happening. But I actually did like the special effects, but it was the story was so stupid and boring that I even felt almost fell asleep, even with how good the um, the special effects were. Let's see, can I break this skull open? And also, I don't know if these these um. These goated animals, I can't tell what is enemies and what's not. I'm still new to this game. And I have these notes people can leave for you. Tarnished it. Yeah, but Moonfall. I think with the story. <laughs> yes, 8-Bit Ashley. Moonfall, Moon failed. <laughs> That's what it was. It was a fail. It was the it was like a stupid story and they kind of combined a bunch of stuff and then they made it like a disaster movie and they tried to combine it with like an alien invasion movie and then it kind of turned into like a kind of King Kong type movie too but that was the um, 20th that was something over there and then you can lock onto these guys and I don't ever know if they're animals or like enemies like these turtles is it just a turtle or is this like going to hurt me because this could be just a turtle that one seems like enemy all, all over there but this one looks just like a turtle yeah I don't, I don't know if I'm if I'm stealth against him or he's gonna he just doesn't see me and would attack me if he saw me well, let's see gold tinged excrement oh so I got some gold of shit that's what I just picked up Okay, so he's not he's not aggroing me. He's just a, tur a real turtle. Okay, that's just a turtle. Yeah, so Moonfall number twenty. We'll go to number nineteen, the nineteenth uh, worst movie I saw in twenty twenty two in theaters was Orphan First Kill. I had never seen um, any of the Orphan movies. And I guess this was a prequel, but it's about like a 
a lady or little girl slash lady. She's like old, but she looks like a little kid. She has some disease where she doesn't age or she doesn't grow because she's definitely aged, but she doesn't grow. So she's small and she tricks people into adopting her and then like kills the husband or kills the wife and tries to get with the husband. And that's kind of the story. She's like a little kid serial killer. That's an adult. There goes those screams again. But um, I never saw the first one when we saw that. And the one thing that kind of killed it for me from the beginning was the actress did not look like a little kid. Because I don't know what she is, but she she looked older. She looked like she was 40. Oh, I don't mean to drink that. But she looked like she was like 42 trying to play like she was a 10 year old and it just didn't work and you could tell when they when they had a body double when they switched to be an older person and a little kid because from the back they had a little kid running around you could tell it was an actual little kid and then when it when it was like time for acting and talking they put in the lady and you could just tell the face was like it was not a little girl it was definitely like a not a young lady, even though the actress is young, I think, but she didn't look young for whatever reason. Okay, now let's see. So that was the um, number, number, that was number 19th, the 19th ranked movie I saw in, um, in 2022. Okay. And I got these headphones on with 3D audio, so I'm hearing stuff behind me. I can't tell if it's in the room or like something's sneaking up behind me. I should actually be stealthing around here. I got my sneak on. Cave ahead, therefore seek ahead. So that's somebody telling me to go this way. I see that guy with the sword, with the torch. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. So number, uh, we're, we're on to number 18. Number 18. This is the last movie that I actually didn't like. I, I, after this one, all the other movies, I kind of liked them. I, I liked them but it, it, to varying degrees. I'm going to try R1 and see if I can get the backstab. Okay, so R1 is the backstab. There we go. I was pushing R2, which is the wrong thing. R1. Stealth to get to the backstab. And I like this little light through the um, through the trees thing right here. Also, this game just looks really good. The whole world building and stuff, all the enemies. Kind of reminds me of some SCP uh, Foundation stuff. Oh yeah, I got my stream labs by, this um, stream is brought to you by Keith G and Ken S. Those are my patrons. And you can join a Patreon if you want to. Patreon.com slash Nerds Next Door. And let's see. Is this a guy going to fight us or is going to talk to us? I don't know. Can I talk to you? Oh, he doesn't want to talk. He wants to fight. Okay, I got him. I thought he wanted to talk to me. I thought he was, he was just over there camping. I wanted to see what he was cooking at the grill. And he tried to fight me. Acquired materials. Okay, what's over here? Praise the message or death. What? Yeah, so, um, what is it? Number 18, Don't Worry Darling. That was the number 18th ranked movie I saw in 2022. It was kind of weird, kind of reminded me of the Stepford Wives type thing. And kind of like, um, it like kind of wanted to be like Get Out. But it just, um, it wasn't good. I'll, I'm not going to put any spoilers in there. But it was, um, it was kind of a mine, um, a mind trip thing just so everything kind of wasn't what it seems it's cool to to kind of see to 
to watch a movie where you don't know what's going to happen, but the payoff wasn't good enough. And it was just some weird, um, some weird scenes too. Where it's like, in reality with, with somebody, to me what they were working for did not seem worth it when they, they had to like, work all day just to give, give their little, um, little suburb life. But also it was kind of like, um, I don't know what these things are. I'm scared to go in there. But they're not hurting the foxes. Let's see. Oh, what's it gonna do? Oh! Oh, that scared me. No, I don't wanna get that. That's like poison or something. But that firefly hit me too. I straight up got a jump scare from that firefly. There we go. Great dragonfly head. Yeah, but that was a. Um, don't worry, darling. Number eighteen. Now, from every um. Everything on these are like my favorite movies of the year or of 2022. So number uh, eighteen is um Woman King. It's a cool movie, supposedly based on a true story. I wish I can ride this turtle. But it's um, supposedly a true story about um, like a tribe or whatever in Africa and their whole, um, their whole, not their whole army, but their strongest like army regiment is all women and they're like raised to fight. They don't do anything but fight and train to fight. And they're kind of like, um, when there's like a war, when other tribes would like kill the women or like um, sell them or whatever, sell them to slavery or whatever, they would take in the orphan girls and train them to fight. And that's how they, they got so good at fighting because they were raised to, um, they were raised to fight from, um, from a kid. That's how they did was fight and, um, fight and, um, fight and sleep or whatever, fight and train and fight and sleep. But that's kind of also where the um, where the idea of the Dora Milaje came from. I'm guessing it's kind of um, kind of a um, inspiration of the Dora Milaje, the um, the actual story, because it is a true story. But I thought it was good. It was just I feel like they would have never made that movie if it wasn't for the the Black Panther and um, and Wonder Woman. That's what it kind of, um, it kind of seemed like to me that they were, um, they were trying to make it like a Black Panther mixed with Wonder Woman type movie. But it was a good movie though. I enjoyed it. Here's a cave. So that was, um, that was my number 17 favorite movie of 2022. Now we'll go to the number 16. My 16th favorite movie was Strange World or oh, the Grove Side Cave. So now we're in the... Oh, I need fire for this. So I should probably go to the church. Oh, there's a boss in here. When you see these things, it's usually a boss. But I'll touch this little thing. My number 16th movie was Strange World. It's um, a Disney, I don't remember if it's Disney Studios or Pixar, but it's um, a Disney movie. Let me see, read message. Be wary of pack. Yeah, I need a torch to go in here. I gotta go back to the guy and buy a torch. Or did I buy a torch? How do I equip? Let's see, inventory. Yeah, but they buy a torch. How do I equip it? Oh, that's not a torch, is it? No, it's memory of grace. Yeah, I gotta go buy. I gotta go buy a torch from the um, church guy. 
Yeah, so I was saying Strange World. Strange World is a cool movie. Animated Pixar movie. It kind of, um, it was kind of different than what I thought it was. What I thought it was going to be. Because it was kind of, not to spoil too much, but I, I thought it was going to be kind of more like um, they're in our world and they go to a different, different like, different like dimension or something when that's not really it. Because I do like the like different dimension, alternate reality type stuff like Doctor Strange or even like stuff like this where this is like a completely different world and it's like um like um alternate realities and stuff. But it, it wasn't really them going through through um different dimensions or whatever. They were just like going kind of deep in the earth. But it was um it was cool. The animation was cool. I know some people didn't like it just because there was like um, they called it too woke because it had like interracial interracial family and like LGBT characters, but I don't mind that. I'm not scared of um, of like that stuff. But some people are. But I thought it was a cool movie. I kind of wish they showed more of the um, of the planet and explained it more. But let's go to this guy and buy a torch. Weren't you? Well, you're back. Care to buy something? Okay, I'm gonna buy a torch. All right. Oh, can I purchase any more? So, did I buy it already? Goodbye. Equipment. Inventory. Uchi, we got the unarmed arrow, fire arrow. Oh, I do have it already. Okay. Okay, there we go. I got a torch and a blade. So now we'll go back to that um, that cave. Yeah, but Stain Road is a cool movie. Kind of more of a, um, a kid's movie. There goes the golden horse guy. Should I try and fight this guy? Or let's go to the cave first. And then we'll die in the cave. Then we'll come back and die to that guy. Because I don't know if we can beat that golden horse guy. Oh, oh they want me to fight him. Okay, so I'm going to fight this. Fight the golden guy. I think I can do two-handed with the samurai sword. Let's see. There's a way to do. There we go. Two-handed with the sword. I got my Yoshimitsu right here. Took a lot of health too. Oh, 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 that was a one hit kill. <laughs> oh, the big golden guy got me. <laughs> I feel like if I really tried though, I could beat him. Let's see, bro. Stock. Oh, at least we're back by the um, by that last cave we went to. Upon dying, receive the last sight. Of grace that you visit, you will drop any runes in your possession. Oh, I did. Everything will be lost forever. So, should I try and go get those runes from him? I'm actually at a point where I can't even level up yet. That's like a certain thing that you need to do to level up. But I'm using a single um, samurai sword. I'm using two handed right now, no shield. Let's see if we can get the backstab. Oh, I didn't get the backstab, but we got him anyway. And let's go see if we can get our runes back. I'm going to put my shield up. And we're going to fight this guy. All these guys I can I can fight straight up, these small guys right here. But I will stealth them if I can. I'm not sure if you get bonuses 
and runes from um, stealth in them. This is the backstab. Pillage corpse. Oh, I got a sword. Lord's worn straight sword. Let me um, Lord's Ward Straight Sword. That's a, that's my rhymes, but I'm not a rapper. Let me see how many um, I got four flasks. I'm gonna um, check out that sword I just got. My regular sword is the Uchi Gatana, Uchi Gatana, and I just got the Lord's Worn Sword. It's actually weaker than mine, but it's uh, it's weaker than my sword, but it can crit more, and it's heavier. But let's um, let's try it out. This is the oh, I think it swings faster though. Oh, maybe just a little bit. I can't tell. I'll stick with the samurai sword. Okay, what are we doing? Strange World was number 16. Number 15 movie I saw in 2022. Where are my runes? Oh, there's my runes. I can get them without fighting them. Okay, I got my runes and I didn't have to fight them. Oh, there's something else too. One thing on Bloodborne, like if this was Bloodborne, he would have picked them up and I, I would have to kill him to get him. Or I don't know if he just didn't do it or something, but um, in Bloodborne, if you lose your, lose your runes like that, the closest enemy will sometimes take them and, yet, and they'll be stronger. So it'll just be kind of harder getting it back, which this makes this game kind of easier in that fact. I wonder if I can backstab this guy. I want to backstab his horse. Let's see. Oh, I'm almost dead from that. Oh, he got me again. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna get him now. We'll see if I can still get my runes back. But we'll go to yeah, number 15. Fantastic Beast, Secrets of Dumbledore. To any Harry Potter fans out there. Okay, there we go, yeah. Well, I'm gonna see if we can get the runes back before we go down there. I also got a bow and arrow too, which I probably could Kind of cheese him down a little bit with um with the bow because I have fire arrows too. Uh, and I'm kind of dual wielding right now with um with this torch. I got a torch and a katana, so I can kind of get a combo like that. Oh, it's kind of a slow combo to put the flame in, but it is, um, I can get some fire damage in there. Yeah, the torch does do damage. It'll set people on fire. Certain people, um, are more vulnerable to fire. Also, weather affects stuff, so the fire is less, does less damage in the rain. And they might not, um, they might not catch fire in the rain, too. So let's see, going back to the gold horse. See if we can get our runes back. And, oh, he doesn't, so he doesn't have the runes. He doesn't have them right now, so he doesn't take your runes. I wonder if it's just this guy, because he's a big guy and he's at the beginning of the game. But he hasn't taken our runes. They're still on the ground right there. I'm over here trying to stealth with a, a piece of fire in my hand, which is, that's why I put it away. But uh, Dumbledore, Fantastic Beasts, it was a cool movie. It was, um, 
kind of long. Uh, how do I? Oh, there we go. That's our room. Get the runes. That's one thing. If you can, if you can get your runes back, it kind of um, doesn't help you. Doesn't hurt that much if you die for close to a side of grace where you get revived. I think he sees me. Let's see. Does he see me? I think he might be on to me, but he's, or he's suspicious right now. Oh, we got a glowing flower, a mushroom, two mushrooms. Well, Fantastic Beasts, it was a cool movie. It was kind of, kind of um, going deeper into the, the, what do you call it, Harry Potter universe. It's actually a prequel to um, Harry Potter with the... Um, it's like Dumbledore when he was young, and all those guys, Scamander. That's the that's the third um, Fantastic Beast movie. Fantastic Beasts is, is a series of the prequel to the Harry Potter series. Well, I thought it was cool. The magic fights were cool. I kind of like the, those characters better than the than the characters in Harry Potter, just because they're um, they're more unique. And they kind of know you see full, fully powered magicians, and the fights are better than them just shooting bullets out their wands like they do in Harry Potter most of the time. And so that was number um, that was number fifteen. Number fourteen, the number fourteen best movie I watched in 2022 was The Black Phone. It's a cool movie. It's kind of um about a serial killer. There's, there's some kind of science fiction stuff in it, but also um, it's kind of like kind of close to a true story about a, a serial killer and how this um, how these kids kind of work together to um, to kill the serial killer or to to escape the serial killer. And now each one backstab. How they kind of work together to. Um, What's up, Dylan? And what's up, um, Sunshine Jackie? What's up, what's up? Raid, am I getting raided? They're raiding me. What's up, man? What's the, what's the new comic book coming out? I'm just uh, ranking all the movies I saw in uh, 20 or something. Which, I love it. Yeah, Mr. Dill. Oh, you're streaming too right now. Okay. Check out uh, Mr. Dillon comic books. He's a comic book writer. Has some cool stuff. We know the um, comic book scene is kind of coming back. Or well, the comic comic conventions have been closed. But um, now they're all coming back. We're going to WonderCon. And, um, yeah, this is Elden Ring. Oh, what is that? Oh, the boar just killed me. Oh, I just got attacked by a boar. Okay. Yeah, but WonderCon's um, coming back. Yeah, we need to kick it. Uh, if you're at WonderCon, let me let me um know. Oh, we have TMI reading. We got to see Gina Gold and the whole crew. They need a yeah, I'm a West Coaster. We're in uh, Oakland, California right now. Live from Oakland, California. Let's see if I can backstab this guy right here. And we got a oh we got a kukri. He has another baby? Remy has another baby, what? Let me see. Let's see if we can get that guy too. Oh, there's two guys. Oh, it's 10 o'clock in Michigan. Don't stay up too late. Sunshine, Jackie. We got another backstab. Oh, I thought I got him. All right, Dylan Gray, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the raid. Hopefully I'll see you at the next 
a convention, East Bay Comic Con is coming up. Peace out, homies. And also, you might want to support us on Patreon. Shout out to Keith G and KNS supporting us on Patreon. So what was I saying? The Black Phone. It was a cool movie. But um, one thing, I thought the that there was a Latino character in there, and I feel like he would have killed the serial killer by himself. Just how his character was. Oh, thanks for the um, the cat emojis and the um, and the dog emojis and the dinosaur emojis. All right, we got all the animals going. And a deer. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I think that's the right way. We'll go inside the cave, Groveside Cave. Yeah, but the Black Phone, it was a. Oh, it was a good movie. I recommend um, watching it if you're a, f a fan of horror movies. It has a little bit of. Um, it's like serial killer type thing, but it has a little bit of science fiction in there. But that was the black phone. I recommend that. Every movie from now on is um is a kind of I would recommend watching it. So number thirteen is Barbarian. If anybody has ever stayed in the Airbnb and it had um and it didn't go how you thought it would go. This is the, that that same idea, just taken up to a thousand. Cause um, me and Ashley, we stayed only one B and B ever, and it was kind of it wasn't as bad as Barbarian, but it was not what we thought it was gonna be. I think this is the boss right here. But um, the Airbnb was we were going to Disneyland, and um, and we got an Airbnb, and it was like oh, it's a ten minute walk to Disneyland. And then when we get there, oh, there's wolves down there. And then we get when we get there, or we in the Airbnb, we're about to go to Disneyland. We call Uber because we don't want to walk. And then the Uber gets on a um, on the freeway. That's how far we were. Oh, this can jump up the cliffs. So we were like a freeways exit away from Disneyland, and they said it was a 10 minute walk. Oh, he's too low. I gotta fight some wolves now. I think they're too low. I have the high ground, but it's not helping me because they're jumping. Oh! They're jumping over my, under my attacks because I'm too high. Come on, oh, he's on fire. Oh, oh, he got me. I can't believe the wolf got me. <laughs> but anyway, the, the Barbarian, it's about an Airbnb that um this lady gets. It's like a double booked Airbnb. And so she books it in a Airbnb. And some other guy books it on, um, on some other app. They have the same building booked on two different apps. So there's two people there. And then, then a bunch of crazy stuff. I don't want to spoil it, but a bunch of crazy stuff happens after that. And it, it kind of... Well, what I liked about it, it was a very unpredictable. And it was just um, something you don't see. Somewhere. One thing I didn't like about it is that the, the girl should have used common sense and just slept in her car or drove somewhere else. Acquired materials. Cave moss. She could have stepped somewhere else and could have avoided the whole situation. But other than that, I thought it was a really good movie. And like the, um, I thought the twists and stuff were really good. Now if I drop down there, I wonder if I can hit more than one with um. Oh! Run away! Let's see if they can bring him outside. I can't fight in these tight quarters.
Come outside and fight me, wolf. Okay. I got one. I gotta concentrate on getting dumped by these pack of wolves. Yeah, but she could have stayed in her car. She got to the Uber once it was double booked. She could have went and slept in the car. And I could have, that would have been it. Oh, there's another one. Is there four? Thin bones beast, thin beast bones. Okay. I got a cracked pot. Yeah, but that was um, Barbary, and I rec recommend watching. I recommend watching it with no, with no type of um, information on it, because to me, part of the part of the um, the joy of the movie is not knowing what comes next, because it's like at one point it's like, what is this happening? And it's um, it's kind of confusing, but I take the the um, the unpredictableness as a plus, in my opinion. Okay, so we got a two ways. That's a cave with light, and this is something over here. Let's go this way first. Pick up these. I oh more wolves. Oh, run away! Oh, another one. How many are there? My last flash. Okay, I got no more, no more health. All right now, no more, um, no more health pots. Let me um, grab these items, and I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go get some water. And use the bathroom right quick when I'm gonna go to this save point and restore my um, my health. Oh, don't tell me I can't get up here. Oh, I think I can't get up here because I broke those pots. So maybe this is the way. Alright, so I will be right back in two minutes. my room temperature caffeinated beverage <laughs> also this game you can't really pause so it's, it's me kind of taking a gamble right now piping hot caffeinated beverage 
because um, this is online. People can raid you. Like somebody else can come in and start fighting you and stuff. Acquired materials. Silver Firefly. Oh, praise the message. So, um, so when I when you step away, somebody can um, come in and raid you, and that'll just be you got to fight a real person. I think it's only in certain areas unless you call them in, but I, I'm pretty sure there's a certain area where they can, they can come in, like anybody can come in and raid you, or you can kind of set up. But you can also play the game with a friend, like co-op too. Let me try and use the, um, see what I can craft, item crafting. Craft the menu, you can use various materials to find, learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. Fire pot, road fire pot, bone dark. Oh, it's on horseback, consumables. Okay, so I have nothing to give me health, so I might die here soon. I have no, um, yeah, my, yeah, my pot's empty. He tries to drink it, it's empty. <laughs> That's like my healing pot. I'm going to take the torch off. Oh, it is dark without the torch. So here we go, deeper into the cave. What was I talking about? Yeah, the barbarian. Yeah, that was a good one. So we'll go next, um, the number 12 best movie I saw in 2022 is The Northman. It's kind of about like, uh, if anybody ever saw the, oh, there's a boss down here too. Oh, this is going to kill me. If anybody's ever seen the, um, what's the anime with Thor's fin? Oh, I can't think of it. There's a, no, I want to say Ragnarok. There's an anime about this kid, the son of a Viking. Why can't I think of that anime? Hey Ashley, what's the name of that? You know the one in the one anime I was watching, where it's like the son of a Viking. Oh, I forgot what you were yeah. putting. It was very much like the Northmen. Yeah, I can't remember. What is the name of that? But it's um, it's like a Vikings running around. It's the story of a Viking. Running around and um, somebody kills his dad, and it's about him trying to get revenge on the on that guy. Are you thinking of the Vinland Saga? Yeah, Vinland Saga. That's it. Yeah, it's kind of like Vinland Saga, to up to a certain point. But I think one of the the is is better towards the beginning of the movie when they're going on their raids and fighting as Vikings. But um. Maybe about halfway through, they kind of stop when he, he has to kind of go over, undercover to get revenge. But as some of the um, some of the more badass scenes that you would see in um, in a movie in um, in that when they're raiding the villages and stuff and fighting these different battles and they're throwing spears and just straight up brutal um, brutal fights. So that's number um, number thirteen, number twelve is the Northman. Now we're gonna go into this um, traverse to this mission, fight this boss, and we'll say number eleven is Thor: Love and Thunder. So now let's see, we're fighting this guy. Let me take out my shield. Oh! Oh, he got me. I should have my shield out instead of that flame when I went in here. But it's like kind of wolf man. Yeah, but Thor, Love and Thunder. It was an entertaining movie. The story was not, um... Not the not the most engaging for a Marvel movie, but the, let me put the torch back on. We can just run past these wolves and go straight to the fight, which I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, there's too much of um 
Taika Waititi. This all through the movie. I think he directed it too. But the rock god Taika Waititi was all over the movie. Okay, I'm in here fighting. Oh, let me just... Oh! Let me try to get my runes before I die. Which I really shouldn't be focusing on that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, he got me. Oh, somebody got a Steam Deck. Oh, Stinky got a Steam Deck. Oh! Can I get the runes before I die? Okay. So at least I got the runes before death. And now let's try and fight this guy. We got one health pot left. Oh, he got me. Oh, he's getting um Elden Ring on it. Stinky doo-doo poopy pants. Got a Steam Deck today, and he's downloading Elden Ring. What was that about? Yeah, Thor, Love and Thunder. It was a cool movie. I like the, um, the story of the, um, the Dark Sword. And I like... Um, how he was like killing the gods and stuff and they were kind of um, that one guy kind of deserved it that was like the first guy he killed was like oh I'm gonna let you die live all your life and die just because well let's run past the wolves and let's traverse the mist and I kind of liked it when um, when the kids were fighting Let me put my shield on. And let me go get the get the runes. Okay, now we we'll focus on the fight. We got our runes back. me oh no we didn't I'm still alive back up back up oh that, that combo is a long one I didn't, I didn't think that combo was gonna be that long Yeah, but um, the Thor: Eleven Thunder, it was it wasn't a bad movie, but compared to how good all the the recent Marvel movies have been, it didn't um it wasn't better than any other one like the Spider Man and Doctor Strange and stuff. But it was a good entertaining movie. Running past the wolves, we should get a death counter going. I think what's that? My third or fourth death. To just to this one guy. My guy ran faster. I need to get on this. Oh, I thought I could. I need to get on this. The stats to make me run faster. Oh, I forgot that last hit. 
Oh, I'm going through them uh, right now. On a... Oh, it got me. I'm on number um, number 11 right now is Thor, Love and Thunder. I'll go down the list and recap of um, the movies from, from least favorite, from worst to best. So far we did Morbius was the worst, then Moonfall, Orphan First Kill, Don't, Don't Worry Darling, Woman King, Strange World, Fantastic Beasts, uh, Secrets of Dumbledore, The Black Phone, Barbarian, the Northmen, Love and Thunder, and now we're into the top ten. the The top ten is um, actually I did see um, Megan, but I saw that this year, so this is not on the list because of, these are movies that I saw last year, and I saw Megan this year, so this that was not on the list. But Megan is a good movie though, better than I thought it was going to be. But the number ten, the top ten now is um, Avatar: The Way of the Water. It was a cool movie. Um, we saw it in 3D. I recommend seeing it in 3D. One thing negative about it, it was too long. It was way too long. Yeah, you know, it was way too long. And there was, they could have cut 30 minutes out of that easy. Easily 30 minutes could have been going when, you, um, when they were teaching them how to... Um, when they were teaching them... Oh, they're teaching them how to swim and stuff. They could um, they could have cut a lot of that part out, the, the swim lesson portion of the thing. Yeah, spot. Yeah, spider not wearing a shirt. Anybody knows there's a character named Spider that's a human that he lives among the Avatar people, and he did not wear a shirt for the whole movie, even once he started living with the humans, and they know they could have gave him a shirt. Those uh, army guys or the fisher guys, fishermen guys. I know they could have got, got some clothes for him. Ooh! I have no idea what his roar does, but I know this is a long combo he's about to do right here. This is the... Oh, you didn't like Nope? <laughs> oh, I love Nope. Uh, stinky, poopy pants. Doesn't like Nope. But uh, back to Avatar. It was a cool movie. I, I recommend seeing it in 3D. Is um, Avatar. Oh. But it was, it was too long. And they could... um. They could have cut a lot out of it. And Spider needed to wear a shirt. Woo! I got no more health pots. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got him. Okay, I got him. Okay, I got a flame drake. Talisman. That's all I get. Okay, so beat that guy. I didn't even catch his name. I got no more health pots. Let's see what this thing does. Return to entrance. Touch bullet saying read message. Behold, I did it. Okay, let's see. Are we looking around? Oh, I guess returning inside have to fight those wolves. That's a cool thing. Because I don't think I can make it past those wolves with this little bit of health. But we will go return to entrance right now. And we'll see the next movie after Avatar. Number nine is Black Adam. Black Adam. That's The Rock being The Rock. He's actually less like The Rock in this just because he doesn't talk. So much 
Oh, no, you got Batman and Maverick in the top five. Okay. And um, what was it we saying? Yeah, Black Adam, number nine. That's the... Let's see if I can hear. Did he heal me? Oh, I got to stay. So I'm asleep here. The Black Adam, one of the... Um, let me see. What am I resting? Flask. Add charge to flask. And I guess I'll sleep two morning past time. Oh, I guess it is morning. I'll just leave. Does that oh, that restores me. Okay. And we'll get the katana out. And I don't know where we're going next. Well, let's see. Oh, I think we're supposed to go down this road right here. So we'll go to that road. But Black Adam, the reason I like Black Adam so much, I kind of, I kind of rank movies on like the, the badass, badassness of them. And to me, it was it was just a badass movie. The fight scenes were cool. Oh, backstab. And we kind of got to see another strong character that wasn't Superman and that's not afraid to kill people because in reality some of these people will need to die some of these criminals like Batman should have been killed the Joker or somebody should have been killed the Joker to, um, just to stop from killing people but um, even the, um, the team Hawkman and um, Dr. Fate, they were cool. Even the, um, I can't remember the girl with the cyclone, cyclone powers. But the way they showed her powers was really cool. With some of the, like the, um, like if you think about some of the X-Men, if you know how the characters are, you think how would they, um, how would they represent their powers in the movie? I thought that was a real cool way how they did her powers. That, um, Instead of just super str super strength and whatever, or breathing fire and flying, they got a, a unique power represented that you don't see in a lot of um, a lot of superhero movies or whatever. But that was um, number nine, Black Adam. Number eight is the Cursed. The Cursed is like a. Um, a movie takes place in like the um, what do you call it like this early early days of America where it's like settlements and stuff and the guys like um they're like fighting the um, fighting for land and stuff they're fighting against Native Americans and gypsies and stuff and it's about um a curse that this lady puts on this guy because he's killing he's killing people for their land he's killing these gypsies for their land and she puts a curse on him and I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a there's like a cursed monster that they gotta fight. He comes at night and it's like killing people and kidnapping people. And it's also I think it might be it's not World War One, but it's um it might be World War One. No, it's not World War One, but they're in some war and they kinda um the curse kinda follows him all the way to there. Actually, it might be World War One. I can't remember. It might be the kid when you grow up, he fight in World War One. But that was the curse. I don't want to spoil too much. But it was a good movie. It's a brutal movie. There's an opening scene where there's an um, there's like a raiding attack on like a on like a group of people. Like a caravan gets attacked. And if I remember, it's it's one shot. It's one shot uncut, and it shows the whole thing going down. It was real brutal, and that kind of sets off the whole thing. That why the um, why the lady curses him because of um, because of what they did to her and her family. But that's um the cursed. I recommend you um you watch it, especially if you're into just like the cinematic stuff. It's very well shot, also. Even though it might be paced kind of slow and it's a period piece, so it's taking place in like the um, 1700s or something, 1700s, 1800s, something like that. So let's see, we're going to the to the road right now. And we are at number seven. Number seven 
is everything everywhere all at once if you're any um, if you like the SCP foundation or um, anything with like different um, alternate realities or just the theory that there's a bunch of different parallel dimensions that's kind of what everything everywhere all at once deals with and it's um but it's also at the same time it's like a story about a family and um like a mother trying to connect with her daughter and the and the husband trying to connect with his wife and stuff it's kind of it's kind of a weird story there's not really another story like that in movie form there's a lot of scp stories like that but there's that's like the first movie i've seen that's like that that's dealing with that type of thing even more even more so in a more grounded level than Doctor Strange does with the multi-dimensions and stuff. And there's also some good uh, kung fu scenes in it. It actually plays the the character, the, guy, the actor that was played Short Round in the Goonies and um, or Short Round in um, in Indiana Jones, but he was also in the Goonies too. Same actor, he's in there as an adult. And he's doing um, the kung fu and stuff, so there's good fight scenes in it too. And you see like Jamie Lee Curtis doing like martial arts and stuff. Cause how it is they'll go to a different um different dimension and they'll take somebody's place and you now you're fighting you're fighting a different dimension in the in the same body but in a whole different like um lifestyle and stuff. Oh there's a guy over there, right? Is that a guy? Oh that's a that's an animal. All right? Oh it's a deer. Oh, we'll get this. But everything, everywhere, all at once. Now the um, the curse is not in black and white. It came out in um, it came out last year. They might have a version in black and white or the, an old one, but it's a new movie. It came out um, maybe around the summertime. What's the statue? Yeah, but I recommend um, the curse and uh, and everything everywhere all at once, especially if you're into like um, multi-dimensional theories or SCP Foundation or something too. And um, number six, also, yes, I am an avid movie fan. At one point, maybe not this year, but before the pandemic, I was probably going to the movie theater like every week, every uh, weekend, probably once a week almost. And I had the um, AMC A-lister pass, which I'm about to cancel it because they raised the price. And just the movie theater near me, the quality is going down of just the people working there and stuff. Like I was there earlier today, I saw um, The Plane. That's a good movie I recommend, better than I thought it was going to be. It's like an um, action slash disaster movie. Yeah, A-list, you see three movies a, um, a week. Yeah, The Plane with Gerard Butler, yeah, that's it. I saw that earlier today. But I'm going to cancel it just because they raised the price, and I don't think I'm going to... I'm going to start streaming more, so I'm not going to have enough time to go see um, see a movie every week. And it's just, like, the, the quality of the theater is going down. Like, we were watching the movie today, or I was watching it, and at one point... Like in the middle of the movie, they turned on the whole lights in the theater. With like in the middle of the movie for like a minute. Yeah, I want to see Knock, Knock at the Cabin. There's a, there's a couple movies I want to see. I'm debating on whether I'm gonna cancel this month or wait a month. Cause if I wait a month, I can also see um, Ant Man too. And then there's a, there's one other movie too I want to see that comes out next month or within the next thirty days. But um. There's like popcorn on the floor everywhere. They're not cleaning the theater like they used to. I guess I gotta fight this guy straight up. I'm gonna go fight him straight up. Fast and the Furious. I haven't seen the um, seen the the last couple latest ones. Oh, he has a shield. Fast X is also oh, they're gonna stop making them after Fast X. Oh, I really could have fought him better, but I was just kind of mashing. But I could have, I could have fought him without taking damage. So let's see what am I on. 
Yeah, number six is Doctor Strange. Spider Man was my no one of my favorite movies in theaters. Yes, we had Spider Man No Way Home was a good um was a good movie. But um let's see. Number six, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. It's also kind of ties in. Once you get kind of caught in um invested in the Marvel movies, you kinda of see how they connect. And it's kinda of continuing the story from like WandaVision. And it's also continuing from Spider Man too. Cause um because the Multiverse of Madness is kind of the continuation of um, of No Way Home. Oh, there goes a guard. Right there. Oh, he has an animal too. Oh, they're 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 like stacked over here. I feel like it's like a Metal Gear type situation right now. Let's see, I'm gonna raid there, raid that camp. Oh, they got a wolf right there. Oh, he saw me. Woo! Let's run away. Oh! Okay, anybody left? Anybody else? Yeah, but Doctor Strange is really cool. It's also kind of like, um, in some ways, it was like a horror movie when I had like, um, like zombie Doctor Strange, that Scarlet Witch was like, she was kind of like a monster coming through the shadows and stuff. And uh, just a lot of cool stuff. It's been a while since I've seen it, but also like when they were going through the dimension, so in like the paint dimension and stuff. And like Bruce Campbell getting like, um, taken over with the magics. There's a lot of Easter eggs and stuff going on in that. And just kind of seeing more. Um, of how it's going into the Marvel uh, universe and showing like kind of obscure characters, not even obscure, just characters that that haven't been used in a long time. Oh, there's two right there. Oh, he's trying to hit me through the wall. Oh! I wonder if I can take his his shield. He got a big shield. Yeah, but um, Doctor Strange is good, and I like how the um, how they kind of told us the story a different way. But also, the Doctor Strange movies they're always more than just um like straight action, just because there's so much thinking involved with how he how he works and stuff. And they showed like the, like the 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 magic fights, which really the their magic fights are how they should be in Harry Potter. But uh, this uh, one thing I don't like about the Harry Potter fights is them most time they're just shooting bullets with a wand. And here they're like conjuring things and changing things to look like other things. Oh, there's a um, what's it called right there. I'll fight this guy first, though. I was supposed to come through here. I don't know why I didn't. I went around that, I guess. Lost of Grace discovered. But that was uh, number six. Doctor Strange. The number six best movie I saw last year. Did I get my things back? I like the Marvel Supernatural, Natural Magic, Natural Magic. Yeah, the supernatural magic type of Marvel stuff is kind of good. I think that's kind of my favorite MCU stuff until they start getting the X-Men in there. Because the, the mutants are real interesting to me, if you know about just like the how their powers are and stuff. And just like the, the different powers that they have. Oh, this is it's like a cutscene right now.
Let's see who this lady Greetings. is. Traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I'm gonna try and be quiet during the cutscenes just so you can see what's going on. Offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? Oh, the Finger Maidens. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can maiden list. Of maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you. In so I think she's gonna help me um level up. You need only take me with you. I got the, the one eye maiden. Except, why would you? I wonder if you refuse this if you can't level up. I heard she's a way to somehow leveling Things up. Settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral steed whistle. Use it to traverse great distances. I think that's like my ghost horse. A spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. Yeah, I do have a mount. I think she just gave it to me. It's like a ghost horse. With the level up menu. Your ambitions. The you spend runes to increase your upgrades. Okay, HP, FP, stamina, strength, dexterity. Why well, dexterity doesn't help the left hand armament too? Intelligence, I don't know. Oh, that's like magic on, on um, oh, that's defense and stuff, on, on magic stuff. So I want HP, endurance. I want HP and endurance. Strength does hits more too. Huh? I'll go. I'm gonna go for. Oh, I can get three points. I'll get one. Vigor, one endurance, and one. Oh, I can only get one. All oh, depends on which one I get. Let me see. Can I do that? Runes needed. Oh, okay, so I can do three points. Okay, one, two, three. All right? No, one, one, two, three. Vigor. Vigor, endurance, and strength. That's what we're doing. That is um, hitting harder, more stamina, carrying more weight, and more HP. I think mine is like magic stuff, but I'm not using magic. That's our little Patreon notification. If you want to be on this Patreon list on the side, you can follow us on patreon.com slash the nerds next door. Okay. Use the spectral steed whistle to summon and ride your spectral steed. If your spectral steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost one of flasks of Christmas materials to do so. You can dismount while using the whistle again, pressing L3. Okay. From the pouch in the main menu, you equip six items to your pouches. Four of those can be used without opening the menu. Okay, use one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Inventory. Use. 
Oh. Oh, I can jump too. I got a horse. Oh, is it a horse? It's a horse with horns. How do I assign this to a thing? Okay, that's how I do it. No, do not want to do that. Okay. So how do I... I wasn't paying attention to the tutorial. But let's get on the steed. Where were we at? We were at Doctor Strange. That's a good movie I recommend it if you haven't seen it. Especially if you're into the Marvel stuff. That's kind of a must watch. And it kind of ties up a certain era. It's only... Um, I wish they had the mutants because they're... They were kind of getting close to doing something similar to House of um, House of M, which is a good, to me, is a great um, Marvel X Men story that kind of enc encapsulating the whole Marvel universe in the comics. But we'll go to number five, top five movies I saw last year. Number five is The King's Man, Stormgate. Oh, look at that guy up there. That's a big guy. I don't want to go that way. I'm scared. Let's go fight these guys. Oh, I can fight on the horse too. I'm fighting on the horse. Oh, this guy has some good items too. But let's go. And horse combat. Oh! Don't hurt my horse. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, The Kingsman, it's a prequel. Like It's called The King's Man. But if you ever seen the Kingsman movies, it's a prequel to those. And it's, it's about how the, um, how the whole um, little organization got started during um, World War I. Lord's Words, Great Sword. I think I have two of those now. But uh, that's also another movie with like the fight scenes are great. It's also like um, this has comedy aspects to it. The um, I want to say the character's name Rump Rumpelstiltskin. No, what's Rasputin. what's the guy from? Um, say again. Rasputin. Yeah, Rasputin. Yeah, <laughs> Rasputin. I said Rumpelstiltskin. Rasputin. He was like the bad guy, but he was really cool. He was doing like Russian dance while he was fighting. But that was an, um, a good movie. I'll say that's the top five movie, especially if you like um, if you like the first two. This is the prequel. It's kind of more serious than the other ones because they're kind of fighting in like World War Two. At one point, they're in the trenches and stuff. So it's like a more serious. You know, the other ones are serious it's about people trying to take over the world, but this this what they're showing is way more serious than the other ones. Well, they're not it's like Eggsy in England fighting guys in a bar. This is like in the trenches in the war. And like a lot of people dying. But I recommend it. Uh, that's a high recommend. All these top fives are very high recommend. Even if you don't know the franchise. I recommend watching um, The King's Man. You might, you might want to watch that one first if you've never seen the series. Because it's the prequel. You watch that one first and then watch the others after it but well, let's see if we can stealth this guy right here backstab oh he came out he came out the bushes I got that jumping attack somebody behind me oh that's a wall yeah but the Kingsman is number five number four I know Stinky's going to be mad because it's not in the top three. Number four is The Batman. I know some people didn't like this movie, but I really liked it a lot. It's one of the, um, one of the better superhero movies. Not DC movies, but one of the better superhero movies. Especially because um, a lot of DC movies haven't been that good. Wonder Woman. 
Warner Woman 84 was like really not a good movie. But they really did a good job with um with the Batman to the story. I think Robert Pattinson did a good job. Even though he was the Twilight guy, a lot of people hate on him for that. But he did really good as a Batman and he did a good job of depicting a realistic depicting a realistic Batman when he's first starting off. He has um has the armor not fully developed yet. The car he's still making it at the at the point where we see him, he's still building up the car and stuff. And he's not fully um He's not fully Batman yet because he's young. Makes makes sense because he's younger. But I thought it was really good. I thought how they did the um, how they did the um, the Riddler, which that's how he is. That's a version of him in like that the comics with his like military mask, and he's still doing. Oh, he has a horn. I wonder if I can take that horn. But I thought that was really well. well um, Oh, he stabbed me in the back. Oh, he blocked it too. Oh, it's two on one right now. And this guy got a big, big shield. Oh. About to die. Okay, let's back up. Drink some health pots. Okay, there's two on one. There's two on one. I'm on my last health pot. Okay, I got him. I kind of panic, panic rolled there, but I still got him. I think because of his spear was so long, he couldn't hit me while I was that close. What was I talking about? Yeah, the Batman. A great movie, in my opinion. One of the probably in the top um, top ten superhero movies of all time, easily. Maybe in the top five. Well, no, Dark Knight is like the best superhero movie, but. Batman, uh, The Batman is a really good super movie also. So we'll go to number number three is Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever sequel to Black Panther. Also felt like it was a tribute to Chadwick Boseman. And it was just, just a great movie. Also, for me, the movie meant a lot to me in the series kind of meant a lot to me just being a, a black guy from Oakland and that's kind of how um, that's kind of how the first um, the first one movie takes place or it starts off in Oakland and it was just um just a real connection to the character for me you know he's trying to help his um help his people and help help the world and the fact that um even though they don't show him die it was a real sad moment when he died and it's also it's reminding you that Chadwick Boseman is dead too. I cried during the movie. My like, like half half the theater was crying or more in the movie when we saw it. It was a it was a sad moment, but it was a good good movie. And Angela Bassett, the acting, I think she she really did good playing um, playing the queen. In um, in that, her um, her acting performance was one of the best acting performances all year. Which I hope she gets an award for that, cause that probably is the best female acting role I've I've seen this year. But Wakanda Forever, also the um, Namor, the actor, he did a good job. And I like how they they kind of changed the character, but they made it make sense. Like I don't know if if he was originally if Namor meant for El Hijo de Amor, which means the child of no love in Spanish. But they, they kind of made it make sense to where I'm not sure if it's actually like that or they changed it like that. But they did, did a good job making them, making him, making the fights look good. One thing, his little ankle wings, I know he has them in the comics, but they didn't look 
they look kind of silly him them flapping like that I feel like if, if they didn't flap it might have looked better than having them um having the wings flapping but because in the comics are not moving oh there's a guy over there we never saw that oh he has a wolf too Oh, I forgot to lock on. Oh, he killed me. Yeah, but that was a. Uh, and I thought sure we did good as the um, as the new Black Panther. The fight teams were good. Choose a revival location. Last site of grace visited. Yeah, but that was, um, also they had Ironheart in there too, which is the new Iron Man. So that was number three. Number three movie I saw in, um, 2022. Now we're going to number two. I don't know if, um, Stinky Doodoo Poopy Pants, Poopy Stains is in here. I kind of want to call him Mr. Poopy Pants from, um, from Rick and Morty. But number two is Top Gun. It was a good movie, big time movie. I know they had finished it a while before this year, but they wanted for the movie to come out because it is that good. It's a big time action movie. It's a sequel better than the original. Also, I recommend seeing it in theaters if you can or with a good sound system because the um, all the action and the sound of the jets and stuff is just a good feeling hearing all that noise. And it, um, even in the, we saw it in the Adobe, or I saw it in the Adobe theater where the, the seats are shaking and stuff. And it, it's a continuation of the, the story from the original. They bring back a lot of the original people from the first one. Even Val Kimmer, even though he has like, um, he can't talk anymore. He has like throat cancer, but they kind of, they kind of made his character not talk or hear, or have a similar situation in the movie but he still went there he kind of talked on the computer but it was a good movie seeing them um, seeing the the jets and the fights even the ground fighting the drama building up to the to the mission was good and seeing like the kids the whole dynamic where why he um why he did what he did to protect Goose's um, son and stuff. It was just a good movie. Good movie, good story, good action. Also, Tom Cruise actually learned. He knows how to fly paint, so he was flying his jet in the movie. Everybody else was sitting in back with the pilot driving, but Tom Cruise actually flew his, um, his jet by himself. Or he probably had somebody in there with him, but he actually flew... He actually flew the jet, which I guess they bought a military jet for him, him to fly. Or they might have just got—I don't know if they bought the jet or he owns the jet, or they got the—they got one on loan from the military. I'm trying to find my runes right now. They're over there somewhere. But um, that is number two, Top Gun, the second best movie. I saw this year and we'll go to number one the, my favorite movie this year was Nope Nope I thought was a great movie it's also a twist it's not it's not what you think it's gonna be but it's not the, not the, what I thought it was gonna be I got my runes back oh the whole I got the whole camp after me now but it was just a like a, a unique story. Oh, look, I got like 10 guys after me. Wow. I got the whole army after me. And I don't have my ring set to... Oh, they run faster than me too. Let's run over here. But yeah, nope. That was my favorite movie this year. Not to, I don't want to spoil anything because there's a lot to be spoiled just because it's um, real unique... Okay, he's back. Okay, the top three. I'm on number one is... I'll start back again. Top three. Number three is Wakanda Forever. Oh! Number two 
Number two is a uh, Top Gun. And number one is Stinky Pants favorite movie. Nope. Number one. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, number one is Nope. That's my favorite movie of the year. That's like the also another another um, criteria I grade these movies on is um whether I want to watch it again. Like right, uh, like right now, if I want to watch it, and I would like to watch Nope right now. The top three, like um. Out of all these movies, if we say you gotta watch one right now, I would um, I would watch Nope. That was I, I thought it was good. It, it was Alien. It just wasn't the normal. Um, no, it was a squid. If you look up the squids, it was like a giant alien squid. <laughs> but um. Yeah, and it's also if you're familiar with the SCP Foundation, it's kind of like a different dimension, different dimension monster, kind of like um, kind of like a Lovecraftian type monster. Let's see more runes are. It's more similar to a Lovecraftian monster if you ever read any of those stories, or kind of similar to like an Elden Ring character, like Red Elden Ring monster. They're like different. Creatures from a different dimension that um, they're just not not like what we're used to. Like that's kind of why I liked it too. It's a unique type of um, type of character, kind of similar to like Bloodborne or Elden Ring or something. Yeah, it wasn't what I was expecting, but also I knew. That was going to be something weird, and I liked the, um, I didn't want it to be like another Alien Attack movie, but I, I thought it was going to be something like, it was a robot or something, but it was like a, it was a creature, and it kind of, they kind of set it up, how you can't, you can't control a wild beast, how the monkey was, um, how the monkey attacked the, um, attacked the studio or whatever, they showed that they couldn't control the, um, the alien, even though they thought they could, like Jupe thought he could control the alien and was trying to sell tickets to the show and feed it the horses, but it's a it's a wild animal. You can't control it, and that's kind of what they were. Um, that's kind of a theme or, or a theme of the movie that their people are trying to control things that they shouldn't control. You just gotta you gotta roll with it and let them. Um, you gotta react to it. Not you can't. You gotta react to something. You can't control everything. Some things you gotta react to and uh, change up what you're um, what you're doing. So that is my um, top twenty twenty one. Yeah, twenty one movies that I saw all this year. I've actually never seen Lovecraft Country. Is that a, I can't remember, is that a show or a movie? I think it's an HBO show or movie, I think. I can't remember. But I don't, yeah, I don't think I've seen Lovecraft Country. Or HBO show. Or maybe I did, I can't remember. But I actually, I actually don't like love like HP Lovecraft stuff. I like a lot of SCP stuff, which is based off similar themes if you're familiar with the SCP Foundation Jonathan Majors was the lead of the show maybe is that the one where um, he was like working at the engineer at the factory or he was like the first black engineer I might have seen that one but um okay yeah but that, that didn't have anything to do with like um H.P. Lovecraft or anything. I don't think. It was kind of more... It was just kind of more dealing with racism. I liked Kong vs. Godzilla, but it was... Um, I liked the more the exploring of the inner earth than the actual fighting because there wasn't that much of that. And also, if you look at it, Godzilla is much larger than King Kong because the original King Kong is only like 20 feet tall. And uh, Godzilla's like 50 stories tall, so really it shouldn't be a fight. Godzilla should win that fight all the time. 
but I'm gonna go through my number, uh, go through the list again, the 21 favorite movies that I saw and it's Mechagodzilla. Yeah, they did have the Mechagodzilla 2 in the movie. Team Kong. Yeah, the King Kong was, um, was big in the movie, but the original King Kong, the original King Kong story, he's only like, um, he's only like 20 feet tall. That's why he, he climbs up skyscraper. So he's supposed to be climbing up a skyscraper and Godzilla is bigger than skyscrapers. So that's the, that's just a size difference that kind of, kind of threw me off. One thing they should have had is the, is the Godzilla tail slide. That's what they missed out on that, um, on that movie. But I'm going to go back again. The top uh, 21 movies I saw in theaters this year. I'm going to go down the list. list. Number 21, the worst movie I saw was Morbius. And then Moonfall. Then Orphan, First Kill. Then Don't Worry Darling. Then Woman King. Then Strange World. Did he shove the axe down his throat? He killed somebody with the axe. I can't remember. But he, um... He did hit somebody. I don't know if it was Mechagodzilla or Godzilla. Okay, where was that? Number 17 is Woman King. Number 16 is Strange World. Number 15, Fantastic Beasts, Secrets of Dumbledore. Number 14, The Black Phone. Number 13, Barbarian. Number 12, The Northmen. Number 11, Thor, Love and Thunder. Number 10, Avatar, Way of the Water. Number nine, Black Adam. Number eight, The Cursed. Number seven, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Number six, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Number five, The King's Man. Number four, The Batman. Number three, Wakanda Forever. Number two, Top Gun. And number one is Nope. So that was me. That's all the movies I saw in 2022 ranked from um, worst to best let me see if you enjoy this stream tune in um, next Sunday and I'll be um, watching The Last of Us I'll watch the show before the stream and then I'm going to play the game along and uh, compare the difference between the show and the game so if you're a fan of The Last of Us show or the game come back next Sunday for the stream and um, next Monday, I'm going to do another um, podcast stream t with a different topic. I don't know what the topic Probably something about Comic-Cons. So um, thanks for watching. Check us out on YouTube. This will also be on YouTube if you want to watch it later. I might edit it down a little bit. And um, we got Instagram, The Nerds Next Door. Patreon.com slash The Nerds Next Door. We also got a store, The Nerds Next Door, if you want a shirt like this. It's actually reversing the thing in the camera. But um, the nerds next store.com. We got our merch over there. I'm, um, I actually don't know if I'm going to play this game next week. I know Sunday I'm going to play The Last of Us. But I think every Monday I might switch the game up. But um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube. Give us a follow if you're on um, Twitch. Thanks to you to my Twitch chatters, my favorite Twitch chatter, chatter stinky doo doo poopy stains. Stay tuned for more and peace out.